At Alto Lake, fishing for trout was good when using power bait. Fishing for a bass was good when using worms. At Cabala Lake, fishing for catfish was good when using gizzard, shad, and cut bait. At Eagle Nest Lake, fishing for trout was good when using black woolly bugger flies, green pistol peat spinner flies, worms, and rainbow power bait. Fishing for pike was fair to good when using swim baits and large spoons. At Eagle Rock Lake, fishing for trout was fair when using salmon egg. At Elephant Butte Lake, fishing for smallmouth bass was fair to good when using live minnows. Fishing for white bass was fair to good when trolling using chartreuse, berkeley, flicker, shad lures. Fishing for catfish was good when using cut bait. At Grindstone Reservoir, fishing for trout was good when using salmon peach power bait. Fishing for bass was fair when using rubber worms. The Rock Lake Trout Rearing Facility at Bill Evans Lake was stocked with largemouth bass. The Red River Trout Hatchery at Alto Lake, Eagle Nest Lake, and Eagle Rock Lake were each stocked with rainbow trout. The Lisboa Springs Trout Hatchery at Grindstone Reservoir was stocked with rainbow trout. And our catch of the week is, drumroll please, Gavin Solace of Albuquerque caught a 23-inch rainbow trout using a black woolly bugger fly at Eagle Nest Lake. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another fishing and stocking report update. For Crazy Radio, I'm Sarah Morrow.